Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Develop. So, um, we added options for the player to use to either attack, heal, or do nothing. Which probably will be like run away or something of that nature. But right now it's a little weird how it's displaying certain things, so I'm going to fix that. Just like how it's um, showing some information. So let's start with that to begin with. That happens. Tax option for a character. Uh, let's not clear. Uh, actually, no, it needs to clear. Well, I don't know. Let's just um, display that for now. And here we want to fix how we display this. And since character doesn't have anything, call it enemy. Let's see what the character does. And I noticed this a little bit ago. Where was it? How was it? No, oh, it's the um, player info. Fix this. And just add the help points to the player info because that is part of the player's info. Write something in that. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Jeez. Alright. Did that. That's good. And we want to show the enemies info, so let's add that into here. So the character uh, player info. Cool. Uh, might be too many spaces. Actually, no spaces. All right, let's see what that does exactly. Build real quick. Successful. Awesome. Start this. My name is Edgar. Warrior. And I'm going to show them what we like to do. Uh, let's attack. Oh, so I forgot. New line. And health for the enemy. New line. Oh, whoops. Debugging so new line HP. Um. Cool. Oh, what else did I want to do? I think we're doing this on the other one as well. Let's see what happens. <laughs> hmm? Let's see what happens. 
Cool. That's actually working out awesome. But as you saw when I did healing, um, it didn't show the information I wanted. So let's fix that. So healing, where's heal? Kind of does this. Mm -hmm. Oh, pass it the character. My character. Gain. Cool. So that's good. looks though. It's definitely a process figuring this out. Attack. Cool. Um, what was I going to do? What was it? There's like a space I want to add. No. Yeah. The. To do, to do, to do. Cool. All right. Does that fix our issue? No. Why? Just that. Oh, maybe it's an enemy thing. No. Huh. Yeah, that'll do a trick. <gasps> Alright, so that does it. Cool. Spacing's all good. Jeez, Mage. Ah, do that for the healer. Good. Awesome. Um, cool. So, kind of got the story going. Um, hmm, what else? What's next? 
do, do. Oh, yeah, we got an option so they attack. All right, so that should be pretty easy. So we can program. And we do it. Do they have an attack option? I think we didn't do anything. We just have to do in there. Yeah. Do that later. Probably go and create like a random number generator and based off like their health and stuff. And so if their health's below 20, so the 50 50 chance of them taking health. But we'll see. But for right now, I'm going to just attack. What do we do in attack? Um, let's do exactly the same thing we do in character. Because why not? Hmm. Is that right? Let's, let's see. Do they take both of the... <laughs> That's a silly bug. Yeah, I passed it out to me for both. That's not good. Alright. I should add a continue button, like, click any key to continue type thing. And just said that as a shared type of method. <laughs> oh, that's a read key first. Silly mistake. Cool. Um, feel free to suggest anything in the comments below, by the way. Um, just feel free, like, if you want me to build something that you're not even sure how you'd build, I'll take a stab at it and see what happens. Because this is pretty much our project, not really just mine. And um, also, the GitHub links in the bottom link below. Just feel free to just clone it down. If you need a. I can also explain how to clone things. Because it seems like some of you guys don't really know how to take people's codes, if that makes sense. But definitely just show a video of how to clone it down, see, play around with it, how to run it to begin with. I will actually do that in one of the next videos because it's not really good examples out there. Most of them just expect you to be technically understand how to GitHub works and all that jazz. It's actually kind of confusing at first. But back to this. Cool, I barely beat the guy. So let's see what happens when we... This makes it easier to test too, like I mentioned before. <laughs> no implementation. Cool, so it does hit game over, which is what we expected to happen. But I think this is going to be it for this video. 
Um, just because there's a lot going on. Well, no, there's a lot I've changed, but it's a good stopping point. I don't want to start something and just stop the middle halfway through the video. But thank you for watching. Please, 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 please like and subscribe. Um, again, suggest anything down below, things you want me to build. Um, just go and try to figure out whatever you guys want. Um, also, console applications are kind of boring. You guys notice them. There's not really much of a UI to it, but go and just do that now for now, just because it's a really good way to learn C sharp if you're new into C sharp or just getting familiar with it. Console applications is the way to go, just because you can pretty much do anything just C sharp. But thank you for watching, and I hope you look forward to the next video.